Turning to back to Toronto and uh, the building in which we're having these interviews, the Mars Complex, mm -hmm. uh, how do we segue from your involvement with CFI to your very intense involvement with Mars? So if you looked at the uh, distribution of research in Canada, one of the things that just uh, stood out was you had this uh, uh, powerhouse of excellent research in southern Ontario, uh, uh, Toronto, Hamilton, uh, and so on, uh, and uh, yet there was relatively little uh, that was being translated into commercial activities. So there was no uh, challenge about the importance of the research, that was clear the issue uh, and no attempt to alter the uh, how the research was carried out or what for what purposes the, ca the research was carried out but there was a strong push uh, that uh, we should look at the results of the research and try and make sure that if there was potential uh, that uh, that, w that potential was exercised and so um, uh, one of my uh, interests uh, as uh, uh, was uh, uh, to address this discrepancy between, between the amount of investment in research and the relatively small proportion of that investment that uh, one could uh, say was uh, related to research output uh, that could that would lead lead to commercialization. And how did how how does that translate into the actual organization Mars? Well, this really came out of the Toronto City Summit Alliance. That uh, after the SARS uh, epidemic situation, that tourism was down, uh, there was a real impact on the local economy, and so there was a group that was set up, uh, uh, broadly uh, ranging with pr former premiers and others, and non-partisan group that was set up uh, on which I happened to serve uh, to see whether they could rectify the, uh, the damage, uh, overcome the damage that had been uh, uh, caused by SARS. Our, all our institutions were uh, leading, uh, seeking money from the research agencies and this was often dismissed because they, they would say that uh, Toronto had to get its act together because it had so many different institutions. So it, uh, Toronto was not doing as well in getting money for its uh, science. And the second element was if you looked at how much of this was, uh, could uh, be re reflected in increased commercial activity, um, it was striking how, how how poor the the performance was in in southern Ontario compared to say other parts even of Canada and certainly uh, in relation to the United States. So um, uh, uh, I felt that it would be really important to see if we could get a more concerted uh, approach to uh, to submissions to the federal government. Uh, and that was not just uh, for more money, but for uh, a vision of research in these areas that really made uh, uh, wonderful use of the results of research uh, that was carried out. And there was some reluctance uh, initially that um, the, this would interfere with the independence of the institutions, the hospital research institutions and so on. But there was a there is a recognition that that there is a terrific amount of wonderful research um, that, uh, uh, and it was surely possible to find means of uh, of uh, finding of of locating that research and using the right sort of mechanisms uh, in order to uh, commercialize those results and. Part of the problem, we had good technology transfer people in the universities 
uh, looking from the standpoint of uh, technology push, where, where could this go? But we, what we didn't have was we really didn't have much capability on the receptor side of this. Is there uh, a need for the results of, the, of this research? Um, are, are we addressing the commercial goals uh, in the process of trying to take that research into the, mar and into the marketplace and so on? And um, uh, that led uh, uh, to a, a painful evaluation and a recognition that, in fact, we weren't doing as well as we ought to be able to do. We being? Uh, the institutions, the research institutions in the University Avenue, particularly syndrome, but um, uh, the Toronto and Hamilton uh, uh, research activities, which were fantastic. Uh, really wonderful, but uh, we weren't har har harnessing, and, and people were. There's a big difference, a professor f uh, carrying out research, uh, and, but then uh, not losing interest in that particular line of research as uh, he or she moved into uh, a new area that would be uh, uh, very valuable uh, and interesting and exciting, but there was left behind, uh, orphaned or stranded, a lot of good research activ uh, results that uh, nobody was sufficiently interested in taking forward uh, to explore the potential of commercialization.